Member for Saanich North and the Islands. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and uh, it's my pleasure to stand today and speak uh, to Bill 2, the Protection of uh, Public Participation Act of 2019. And uh, I think that it's important to, uh, to frame this, my, my very brief comments uh, uh, to this bill, uh, with uh, the, the, the amount of correspondence that I've received uh, in support of the legislation that was proposed last year, as was raised uh, by the member who spoke previously. Uh, and, uh, and I know that this is an issue, the, uh, the slap legislation or the slap suits, anti-slap legislation that we see in front of us or the Protection of Public Participation Act that we see in front of us today uh, to debate uh, is of in particular in, um, interest to my constituents. And, uh, and I know that as, as someone who's been uh, in local government, uh, I've seen uh, how this has impacted uh, citizens in my community uh, over the years, how they have uh, been participating in, uh, in public processes, uh, involved in their communities, involved in ensuring that uh, their municipality and their local governments and indeed the provincial government are undertaking good process uh, and, and having every right to stand up for themselves and for their, for their rights uh, as, as citizens and individuals in a community and how they have been chilled by, uh, by being served. And in many respects, and, and I know my colleague is going to speak to this, and so I'm not going to speak at, at great length to this, but in many respects, uh, just the act of, of uh, someone standing on your front doorstep and serving you with, with legal documents, in large part people that have never had any, uh, inter any relationship with uh, the, the law in that way at all, uh, has a way of crippling uh, your willingness, your willingness to participate uh, in these public processes. And so uh, I am certainly, uh, uh, I'm certainly pleased to be able to stand uh, on behalf of the numerous uh, constituents uh, from Saanich North and the Islands and, uh, and beyond who have contacted me uh, to, say that, uh, to say that this has had a negative impact uh, on their lives. The, the, uh, strategic lawsuits against public participation, uh, how that has impacted their lives. And so I'm pleased to be able to stand today. Uh, as the government is putting forward legislation um, to, deal with, uh, to deal with this. I know that 20 years ago, uh, anti-slap legislation was uh, repealed by the uh, former BC Liberal government. Uh, and one of the points that was made, which I, which I find uh, kind of troubling in one of the quotes, is that uh, they were concerned about it creating a protest culture, in quotes. And I think that it's important uh, that we acknowledge that what evolved instead in this province was a culture of entitlement. And so uh, as we are making sure that we uh, protect the public interest, and, and I respect the, the member who spoke previously about, uh, about the, the important uh, um, debate that I think uh, that the two legal minds on both sides of this house are going to have during uh, the committee stage. And I, and I certainly look forward uh, to witnessing that and, and participating as my rather small legal mind uh, can. But I, I would just say that I think that it is important that we have that discussion about the public interest uh, because that's clearly what our main role here is in this place, is to protect and to act in the public interest. And so um, as, we, as we work towards reinvigorating that in our province, um, taking the focus away from uh, the special interests and, and, uh, and private interests and, and working on behalf of the public interest. So I'm heartened uh, by the government's efforts to discourage uh, the use of litigation as a means to uh, unduly limit the participation of, uh, of the public. And I look forward to the debate, as I mentioned. Uh, and frankly, I would have spoken a lot longer on this, but the member from, uh, from Vancouver Point Grey, our Attorney General, must have got a hold of my notes. And so, uh, he really, without, uh, without re being repetitive, uh, I would say that he did a very thorough job of explaining his bill, and I look forward to uh, engaging at the, uh, at the committee stage of this debate. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.